What's up guys? Northern Lights here here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to get a reading in for you. Let's see. So I keep hearing a message and as a collective, we are coming in to the end of a Mercury retrograde. It's uh, It ends on the 18th and then we have a new moon on the 23rd or no i'm sorry the 21st it's the 21st 21st and so i keep feeling this energy like the past is going to make a one last ditch effort to communicate or reach out or rekindle something and i feel like that as a collective we are in this new shift. I just saw 0101. New beginnings. Clean slate. Okay. We're not looking back to the past. We have ended it. We are done looking back. Okay. The only time we look back is to see how far we've come. And then we turn right back around. One, two, three. And keep it moving. Staying on track. Okay. And the, I just said the, the 23rd. So January 23rd could be significant for somebody here. Um, so we're getting ready to come out of a Mercury retrograde. We just came out of a Mars de, uh, retrograde. Mars went direct a couple days back. And so all of that chaos and, you know, that Mars retrograde creates is, has, you know, simmered down. And now Mercury retrograde is getting ready to uh, end and we have a new moon right behind that. So the point is, is I feel like things from the past that we've made the final judgment call I feel like I just saw 222 I feel like <clears throat> I just heard the 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 it was the last nail in the coffin 234 thank you spirit they see okay they sealed their fate basically um and so I just feel like they that that coffin has been nailed shut and it's they trying to claw their way out it's a weird kind of energy but with this mercury retrograde coming to an end with a new moon right behind it and the new moon i believe is in aquarius yeah new moon in aquarius um which i'll do a reading for you guys on that just so we can see what kind of energy that brings I just feel like with, I think, I feel like the collective has raised their vibration and we are not playing around no more. Okay. We've, we have made up our minds. We're done getting played with. We've, we've planted our feet. We've done lots and lots of clearing. Okay. And we're planting our new seeds, right? so that we can tend to those and nurture those to sprout new beginnings, right? Okay, so we're not wanting to, and we're focused, laser focused, I just heard. And we're not going to let nothing come in and disturb our garden again. And it, I just heard rototiller. Somebody, something from the past is going to try and come up and rototill up and just disturb all of that those seeds you just planted i feel it strongly i've been feeling it for the last oh two three days or so and i'm hearing my crows crows be squawking so let's see yeah oh look at this i haven't pulled my crows out in a long time Look what's at the bottom. The ghosts. Ghosts of the past. Trying to come back around. 
the shit that we've debted, the stuff that we laid to rest, relationships, um, anything that was no good for us, that stunted our growth, okay? Everything we laid to rest. This could be people that ghosted you or a person in particular that ghosted you. I'm keeping it out because that's exactly what the energy feels like. But we're in flight, okay? That Here we are. We are in flight. And I just feel like there's this energy hovering around us, okay? I'm going to keep that out. Yeah, look at this. We released it. I, okay, that's confirmation right there that I've got the right deck. All right. So, either a ghoster or something that you left behind in the past is wanting to come and roto-till up your freshly seeded garden. And I feel like as a collective that we are not playing around no more. We're done. I just heard done, da dun, done, done. We're done. All done. Okay. We they they the last nail was drilled into that coffin and we threw the dirt on top and walked off. We're done. And <laughs> it's trying it's it, this mercury retrograde. I feel like there's going to be one that's I feel like something is going to try and resurface one more time. Isolation. Yeah. Mhm. Mm because it's raining in their world. This is depression. Okay, first thing I heard and was when I saw this was depression. I'm going to go ahead and keep it out. Yeah, look, curiosity. Somebody's wanting to poke in one more time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, got trapped right there. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't know about that kind of energy right there. Feels like a trap. Feels like intentions are not good here. What else? I just saw distraction and adventure. Yeah, they want to distract you, take you off your path. Don't forget about me, right? Okay. Mm -mm. You're off on a whole nother path. And <laughs> we're, you know... We, ooh, influence. Okay. We have cleared our slate. We brought down many towers because we know that we don't want to start, we didn't want to bring any of our luggage in to 2023. And so many, many of us have been busy clearing that out, doing the work, okay? telling you depression drinking a lot some kind of habit is out of control here with this person drinking drugging smoking whatever it is partying okay and I just I feel like I feel like they I, they're gonna try and resurface and you, that final nail that went in that coffin, I feel like there may have, there, okay, there was one more try. There was one more try to make damn sure before we sealed that coffin shut and buried it for good, right? And you could have went to see this person or they came to see you. Or whatever the situation was. And this is what you saw. Trash littered everywhere. Just, it didn't, it looked abnormal, okay? Because in the past, you'd walk in and neat, tidy, right? Okay. I feel like it was different. It was 
they haven't been taking care of themselves. Something, and depression can do that. And I feel like you may have even caught a weird smell. Okay, look, I'm seeing a trash can right here. Uh, smell like they hadn't taken their trash out in way too long. Okay, the, whatever it is, their usual environment was not kept up. And you could have been the curious one and poking your head in. And this is what you saw. And that was the final nail. They could have hurt you one more time along with it. So you buried it. But I feel like, I feel like, coming back around for one more try. Okay. I knew I was going to see this card. 11-11. I knew I was going to see this card. Okay. Yeah, look, anticipation. <laughs> you probably can feel this person's energy all around you. I said. It feels like they're just all around. You can feel this heavy energy. They're sending it out. Look. Look at those. And then look here. Here you are solid. Okay, but you can feel the energy of these ghost birds here. Because they're sending this heavy energy out towards you. There's these birds back here. You can feel this person's energy. And I feel like, but yeah, look, because you have a gift. And you're headed off in a whole nother direction. 12-12. I feel like they can feel you getting further and further apart. Yeah, look, you, look at you. Look at you. You have flown off in a completely different direction to plant your seeds. You've accepted the fact that this was done with this acceptance card right here. You accepted it, you buried it, you moved on, and you're planting your seeds. And this person wants to come through with a motherfucking rototiller just to fuck you up again. But you can feel that. Because you are you have a gift. You are highly intuitive. So if you've been feeling someone's energy that you've cut off around you, you're probably right. Mm-hmm. And with this dominance card right here, I feel like it is to serve as an ego boost, to bring them up out of this energy right here. If they can get you to come and run over at their beck and call just to break your heart again, It'll boost their ego. They can brag to their friends with the community card, right? I feel like you learned. You learned. You're working on your. You're working on your. Uh, your abundance. Okay. You're preparing for something better. I feel like you've been preparing for a, a big change. You've gone, you're, oh, you, you are prepared for this change. Ah, thank you, spirit. And you're unbothered with the waterproof card. This is, this energy isn't bothering you anymore. It's not getting you out of pocket. It's not making you upset. It's not making you cry. Okay. You're unbothered. Why? Because you fucking grew. You grew. You learned. And it, you're protected. And you've been through it so many times with this person. Look how many times you have been through it with this person. Many, 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 many times. 
You know better. You know, you know how this person get, you know, how they operate. Thank you, spirit. And you know that it's all an illusion. This person, ooh, I just heard they could talk a good game just to get you over there. Just to get you over there so that they can get you in their ego trap and put you down one more time. Damn. Wow. I don't even think I need any more of these. We'll see. We'll see. Um, hey, get you in the door one more time to slam it shut and, and, and trap you in an ego trap. I just heard ego trap, like a fucking bear claw, a bear trap. Uh-huh. And, but you remember the state that they were in last time you saw this person. I'm going to go ahead and put this influence card right here because I feel like they go together. Okay, so. <sighs> These people, man. These people. Yeah, you accepted it. And you, you buried this. You grew. You moved on. You went off in a whole nother direction and planted your seeds. And I feel like, because yeah, you figured it out. You, and look, more trash right here. This person is a bullshit artist. <laughs> trash talking. If they talking, they lying. If their mouth is moving, they lying. So you went off in a whole nother direction and planted different planted your seeds. And I feel like you can anticipate that this person is going to show back up one more time. And all it is is to establish dominance because they need an ego boost so that they can brag to their friends or whoever. But they don't know that you've gone through a massive, massive. Where's my growth? Right here. Massive change. And that you can see things for what they really are. You can see straight through their bullshittery. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you're prepared for this. You know exactly how to handle this next time. If they should decide they want to get brave enough to come back around one more time. There's a ship coming in right here. I feel like you anticipate it. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can feel it in the energy and you know, you know. And you know how this person operates. And with the Mercury retrograde getting ready to, to end here in a couple days, I feel like, I feel like it's building, uh, I just heard Building momentum. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and put this... Where do, I'm going to go ahead and put this growth card up here. Because here we are. Growing. We learn. And I'm going to put this one over here. You followed your intuition... And went in a whole nother direction and laid this laid this shit to rest okay and you're glowing you're glowing and growing over here look at this energy surrounding you you've got light coming off of you right here and you got light coming off of you right here this person it's raining and I feel like you know, they're, they're not 
keeping up with themselves with their with their home or their their hygiene or something okay it could be their home that is in disarray okay interesting 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 and this is exactly the energy that i'm feeling thank you spirit wow I just want to see if anything shuffles out here. Is there anything else from this deck that we need to see? Sacred space. Okay. Yes. Look at this. Scavenge and alley. I'm telling you. It smells like a dumpster in there. There's shit, trash, or just shit just laying everywhere. And it's, you know, this, it was, it used to be, they used to take care of it. That's how I know that this person is having an issue within the mental health department. I can feel it. I can feel this person's energy. While you're over here just letting it roll off your back, okay? Because you you can probably feel this person's energy. You're letting it roll off your back while they just out here getting wet. Their sacred space, their home, their nest is trashed. Funky smells. Like they're not taking care of their garbage or something. There's too much trash laying around. I've got a dumpster, I've got garbage here, I've got garbage and litter here, I've got garbage here. Something's up here. Their sacred space is fucky right now. Yeah, and look at you. You got it raining down in abundance. You're focused on your abundance. Yeah, you're soaring. You're soared off into a whole other direction. Uh-huh. Yeah, look, we got communication underneath nature. I'm telling you, I feel like you're getting signs that this person wants to communicate. Okay. You could hear from somebody. You could. Yeah, look, we got the four cups right here at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. This is someone that passed, oh, holy shit, with the Seven of Swords and the Moon. Damn. You've got someone that passed up an opportunity. A solid one, too. Because they had other options. They passed up a cup of love. And for Seven of Swords, -y, this person could have Seven of Swords -y you. All right. Damn. Damn. We're going to go ahead and keep them out. Keeping secrets, being sneaky, being sly. This is this is minor arcana devil energy right here. Being seven of swordsy on the sneak. But I feel like this is them. There's a bird inside this cage right here. And you are right here. And I feel like this is their inside. This is their shadow. Their, uh, their shadow work that is being illuminated. Their shadow side. I should clarify that. Their shadow side. And it's got them right here in a cage. Trapped. I feel like it's a mental prison with this card right here. And they could be trying to drown out their sorrows. 
trying to find trying to find the happiness at the bottom of the bottle, right? They passed up a, a, an opportunity because they had other options. Three of Cups could also be about drinking and partying as well. Celebrations, right? And turn down this cup right here. Uh-huh. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Wow. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Look. Mm-hmm. Wanting to come in under a new with a new offer. Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, they're talking a good game. This is a bullshit artist. It's an illusion. Bullshit artist. They're going to say that they have feelings or they've spent some time thinking about some shit or they want to build with you, blah, blah, blah. It's bullshit. I'm telling you right now. I can feel it. It's a trap. So that they can put their foot on your neck one more time to, to stroke their ego. Because it'll bring them up out of this. If they can use you one more time. Uh-huh. I'm on to this energy. I've been feeling it. And I wasn't quite sure what it was. Because at first I was feeling this. And a, a love offer coming in. To rebuild. Well. As time went on. I started feeling all this other stuff. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, look. Four of swords with a two of swords. Okay. They don't know which way to go. Okay, this is this is indecisive. Okay. And if you ask me, indecision is still a decision. Laid it to rest. With the four of swords. Follow your intuition. Listen to your gut. And keep it moving with the chariot right here. Boom. Towards your wheel of fortune. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Five of wands. Okay. This is it. this is their inner turmoil. They want to come rototill up all of your hard work, all of your cleansing that you've done. Thank you, Spirit. All your work, Eight of Pentacles. Holy shit. Just to break your heart again. I'm fucking telling you. Look at this. And that's the truth. Just to break your heart again and leave you at the river of tears. Ghost you one more time. And that's the truth. Wow. Spirit just be on it tonight. But no, we're not going to have it. We've been through the change and we took off towards the sun and left the devil behind. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. The devil is now carrying all this weight in the hangman tree. It's getting heavy. Holy shit. Wow. Phew. Oh my god. Okay. I, <laughs> this this is literally just popping my brain. Coming in just to disturb all this beautiful healing that you've been working so hard on just to leave you crying at the river of tears one more time with a broken heart and that's the motherfucking truth and as i'm laying this the truth the ace of swords is right at the heart of the spread and it's getting heavy for this devil okay it's getting heavy for this devil this this karmic energy this is a whole ass karmic right here and at the point of the spread is change. 
your growth, your death and rebirth. Wow. I feel like something is about to be illuminated to you. I'm going to go ahead and keep the sun out right here. Wow. I had no idea that I was going to get a whole spread from both decks right off the bottom. Okay. Spirit, don't fuck around. My guides do not mess around here. Wow. 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 I don't even know what to say. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to get. I'm 30 minutes in and my whole spread is here. Let's see. Wow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out... Let's see what our higher self has to say about this. Let's see what our higher self has to say about this. Let's just see. Protect what you love. That's right. It is your duty and your responsibility to protect what you love. And that is you. Okay. All that self-love that you poured into yourself. All these seeds that you planted, that you are planting, okay, protect it. Because this person wanted to come in and rototill that shit all the way up just to stroke their ego. And quite frankly, it's disgusting. Just to make themselves feel better. They got to tear down and hurt another uh-uh and that's the truth spirit says that's the truth you deaded it leave it dead or make it deader make it deader <laughs> make it deader make it to where it will never try to resurrect again wow This is, it's heavy on this devil energy, this karmic. Heavy. They want to come steal your light. They want to, ooh. This is a siphon. This is an energy vampire. A whole ass karmic. Wanting to siphon your sunshine. Your, your happy. Because they're miserable. And it'll stroke their ego. To put you down on the ground one more time. Uh-uh. We we're, we're not going to let that shit happen. Hell no. Hell no. But they getting real curious. Okay. They are. Oh, they are. They are. They want to know what you're up to. They want to know what you're doing. And uh, they may reach out one more time. You know why? Because this is devil energy. Devil energy doesn't give a shit about nothing but itself. The thing is that this person doesn't realize is that they could break their own chains from this devil energy. Because the chains are literally only wrapped around one teeny tiny little toe. And I'm going to do what Cindy does. Okay. Flick that damn skull off. You are not a ram. You are a raven. Wearing a mask. Covering up the real them. Using it. Ooh. Using it as an excuse to keep this chain around one tiny little toe. A reason. An excuse to stay stuck in this energy right here. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like this was you at one point. Trying to pull this chain and off of this person to help them break their chains. But you know what? And I feel like you did. You tried a lot. You tried many, many, many times. And they put your ass on the ground, in the ground, figuratively speaking, many times. We have to let go of that chain and just let them. Because it gets to a point to where they have to save themselves. It's up to them to pull that tiny little chain off of that tiny little toe and free themselves. They have to want it. Uh-huh. They're wanting to come in and cause chaos in all of your cleanliness. You've cleansed yourself of this person. You've worked hard. And they're wanting to come wreck it. Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Protect what you love yourself be loyal with that little puppy dog to you and your seeds your future okay if this person is allowed back into your life these seeds will die your new growth will shrivel up and die and that is exactly what they want. Don't let them do it, collective. Do not let this person come in and destroy you one more time. Mm-mm. No. Protect your light. Protect your energy. Because this is a this is an energy vampire right here. They feel like shit, so they gotta come in and tear someone down. Yeah, look, they want to come in and tear down the walls around your heart. I'm telling you, they're coming in. They're going to talk a good fucking game. I'm telling you. Coming in all sweet, maybe even a little playful, okay? Saying that, that they, they want to build something here. They've given it some thought, being all sweet, maybe even a little romantic. Maybe bring you a gift. Pretending like they're an angel with them wings right there. I'm telling you, the devil is an angel too. Know the difference. You've been through it, been through it with this person enough times to know. You'll know. You'll know. Read the energy. Read the energy. I saw the high priestess. They're going to come in. Oh, I just heard that silver tongue devil going to come in with a cherry pie, right? With sweet cherries trying to make it irresistible. Mm-hmm. Protect yourself. I'm telling you. I am telling you. And this Mercury retrograde, okay? They're coming in just to tear down them walls. And help have you trust them one more time. Yeah, you are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. There you are. Okay. Planting your seeds. This is real earthy energy right here. Okay, sunlight, earth, growth. You're growing a new environment for yourself. And this person gonna come along and rototill that shit up. Protect your space. Your heart space, your sacred space, your home, whatever it is. All of it. All of it. Protect it all. Because this person is a mess. This person's a mess. And 
you know, you've already tried to help this person. You're on, okay, you're headed off in a whole nother direction. Take your light with you. This person needs to save themselves. Holy crap. This person needs to go through their own transformation. And they're going to have to. Okay? They hung themselves. They got themselves here. They're going to have to get themselves out by breaking that tiny little chain around that tiny little toe. This person's a bullshit artist. I can feel their energy. And they can lie to themselves and lie to themselves and lie to themselves and everyone around them, for that matter, all they want. Use your gift of discernment. Follow your intuition. Yeah, have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. Freedom. Maintain your freedom. This person, you, okay, this happened so many times with this person because they know, they know that you had developed a soft spot for them. Free yourself. I feel like, ooh, I just heard bad taste. You've got a bad taste in your mouth about this person. They left a bad taste in your mouth. You don't have any desire anymore. The desire ran out. And look, this is giving me Empress energy right here. Divine feminine energy. Doesn't matter if you're a masculine or feminine. Okay. If you're a masculine, you're drenched in divine feminine energy. Okay. Wow. Yeah, look at this. A message is trying to reach you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Message is trying to come in. I can feel it in this energy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Your deepest desires constrain you, constrain you. Let them go to clear your mind. I'm telling you, this happened many, many times. And this person, because this person knew you had a soft spot for them. And you'd keep coming back, right? Well, I think the last time you encountered this person was the nail in the coffin. But they don't know that. They're going to they're gonna approach or send a message one more time. Make sure it stays dead this time. Nope, that's not it. This one. Make sure it stays dead this time. I feel like this person, <laughs> I feel like this person uh, needs an ego death. I just heard ego death with this right here. It's, their shit's heavy. And they want to come drop all their trash on you. Uh-uh. We ain't not letting that happen. We are not letting that happen. No, we are not. We've come too far. We've done all this work to cleanse and balance ourselves. And besides, too, we remember all this Seven of Swords moon bullshit, too. But just remember, they're in the cage. You're free to go wherever you want. Spirit has got you protected. Spirit knows that you've done the work. 
and they want to come along and leave you brokenhearted and at the okay this is their energy and they want to come dump their garbage all on you to make themselves feel better to stroke that ego well let me tell you something give them an ego death that's what you need to do i'm not here to, okay i'm not here to tell you what to do you do what you do but I'm here, I, this energy, I can feel it strongly. And you've been through it enough with this person enough times. Okay, many times. Your desire for this person keeps you stuck. It will constrain you. Let them go. Clear your mind. Clarity. With the, oh, I just saw 45, 45, nines. Those are endings in tarot. Wow, I can feel this strongly. Strongly, you guys, strongly. What else? Yeah, look, flames of desire. Okay, they know that you burned hot for them. Oh, they know it. It was probably fire, okay? It was probably popping. Not gonna say it wasn't. Set your heart on fire, right? Deep desires. You desired this person, and that's why you kept going back. And they fucking knew it. And they hurt you over and over and over and over again. When you feel their energy come around, and all around you again, just wait. Just wait them out. They'll send you a message. Ego death, this motherfucker. Make sure they never come back around again. Make sure, ooh, make sure that they stay the hell out of your energy once and for all. Yeah, look, this person is lost in the ruins of the past. Find the way to the present moment and live. That's exactly right. This person, that one tiny little chain on that one tiny little toe is what's keeping them stuck right here. Lost in the ruins of the past. And it's getting heavy. And that's why they need your light. Your sunshine. Your energy. A siphon just so that they can put you down one more time it's disgusting this is this is a i don't okay i don't use this term loosely this is a whole ass narcissist right here this person refuses to do the work they don't want to do this they'd rather be a bullshit artist and convince everyone around them that they're this good person when they're actually in low vibrational toxic devil energy. Okay, because angel energy trumps devil energy like that. It's not hard to shake these chains. You have All you have to do is want it. That's it. And it's over. You shake that devil, you shake them chains right off. Because once you decide that you're done and you want better for yourself, angels step in. And they and they shake this chain off and that devil goes, ar, 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 runs away back to their hell hole to find another victim to latch on to. Okay? It... <laughs> This person just doesn't want to. They're comfortable in this energy. They've done it for so long. They've spent so much time convincing and bullshitting other people. It just comes naturally to them. 
Well, I feel like people are leaving their life. Where they, all these chairs were once full, this person is realizing that nobody's actually there for them. They thought they had all these friends and knew all these people. Now that they're in this kind of energy right here, they got nothing but a few sad souls. This clock tower. Okay. Tick tock, bitch. Tick tock. It's time. Time's up. The collective is done. Your time hurting the collective over and over and over again is all done. Holy shit. Don't fall into the trap again. Because if you do, if you fall into this trap and let them put their foot on your neck one more time, this community of their people, they're going to know about it. You see them back here in the tree? Uh-huh. They're going to know. Because it strokes this person's ego. See that teeny tiny little light? That's that snowball's chance in hell. Okay, here's your light, the sun. There's, here's theirs. Right there. They want more light. Their light is getting dim. It's dim. It's so tiny you can barely see with it. There's one back here too. Can hardly see. You bring the sun. You have the energy of the sun. Radiant and positive. Wow. Yeah, look at this shit. I just said radiant. Holy fuck. This was laying down, face down right here. I had no idea. It says, magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. Look at how lit up and beautiful your energy is, collective. Do not let this motherfucker siphon it. Don't let them put you on the floor under their foot one more time. You cast a spell just with your existence. That's right. Okay. You're the one that when you walk into a room, all the heads turn. Wow. That just popped my brain too. This whole reading is just... <laughs> Spirit called me here for a reason. Damn. It's time to dead this shit one, once and for all. This son bitch right here needs to go through a massive ego death. I can just feel the egoism. Ugh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. The lotus within you awakes, okay? This person has drugged your name and your reputation through the mud so many times. But look, you grew and blossomed anyway. You are a master in light on high. That's right. That's because you did the work. You listened to the divine. You know you got angels on your back. You are an earth angel. I just heard that shit. You are an earth angel. You were sent here to teach people how to love, about love. And this person took advantage over and over and over again. Don't let them do it one more time. Uh-uh. Don't let them do it one more time. A new strategy is required. That's right. 
time to do something different. Find the path to love and happiness. She's walking like her head is like she's like her head is down, but there's all this light around her. Okay. And a new strategy is required here. You got to do something different than you than you've ever done with this person. Maybe oh, I don't know, tell them no. Tell them fuck you. That's what I think. Damn. Let's see what your angels say. Let us see. Let us see what your angels say about this little situation here. Oh, look what's at the bottom here. You are a powerful light worker. Damn straight you are. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. The divine's got your back. Yeah, look, got your ascended masters right here. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. You're protected. They're, and So protect what you love. They will show you the way. Yeah, look, shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing white light surrounding you. Protect yourself from fear-based energies. Okay, this person could have used scarcity tactics, fear tactics to get you under their boot. Other, others, it was just straight egoism. It fed their ego to, to know that you would come running at their beck and call. After they, after they had done all, everything that they had done, caused all that pain. Yeah, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Listen to your guides. Trust what you see in your mind's eye, as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Okay? Listen to your guides. You're a powerful light worker. You were sent here uh, for a reason. You have a purpose. You are the light. And this person lives in the dark. They don't have much light. And so when they when their light is dim, guess who they call? You. It makes them feel powerful to have them under, have you put to have you under their boot. Holy shit. Okay. That card said, if you get nervous, focus on service. Yeah, look, you got Archangel Michael here uh, protecting you. I'm telling you, you are protected. Archangel's sword of truth is already here at the heart of the spread. You're working very closely with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Cut. Your ear chakras. Look at this. Listen. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real and answers to your prayers. Pay attention to what your guides and your ascended masters, your archangels are telling you. Heal away addictions. It is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Okay, there's that desire. There's that burning flame of desire. I just heard, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Okay, it's time to douse that shit with water. Put it out. 
drown it out. Okay. See if anything else comes out from this deck. Integrity. Yeah, this person has none. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. I'm telling you, this person is in a low vibrational, toxic, devil, egoic energy and is a bullshit artist and has convinced all of those around them or her that they are of the light, that they are a good person. When that is absolutely the furthest thing from the truth. Because this right here is their energy. They don't want to break free. Yeah. Honor and respect your deep emotional sensitivity. Okay. I'm going to leave this one here. You guys... Take care of yourselves. Look out for the signs with this Mercury retrograde coming to an end. I'm telling you, I can feel this. Ask your angels. Talk to your ascended masters. Talk to the talk to the archangels. Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael in particular to help you through this. Don't let this person take away all of your growth and your cleansing that you have worked so hard for. I love you guys. Peace, love, and light.